what we have currently is what you call uh, dual illumination, where uh, people can receive their broadcast channels, like channels in Abuja. You have your normal uh, aerial, what you call your normal aerial. You have access to channel television. Maybe all you need to do is to turn your, the aerial on top of your TV and uh, you, you, you get the direction. Alternatively, uh, because we have also rolled out in Abuja, uh, you can also receive channel television with the aid of a set-top box. Mm -hmm. Now, the set-top box gives you the digital experience. If you are receiving uh, China's television on the old analog area, you probably will be having access to only about four channels that are also on the open terrestrial. Uh, those are those ones that are not going through the set-top box. But with the introduction of the set-top box, you now have true technology, you can, you can compress a lot of channels. And as we speak, in just an Abuja, ordinary people that have access to the set-top box can have enjoy like 30 TV channels. Digitization of broadcasting especially it's, uh, is multifaceted. It's not just a technological adventure. Uh, there are a lot of social economic uh, considerations. Uh, so it comes with a lot of sensitivity and planning. Uh, we have set dates before, and I'm sure you are aware we did set dates. Uh, but uh, we also found out that the reality was that uh, some of those dates uh, had to be adjusted. Uh, Nigeria is still going to set another date, but we will need to set this date in conjunction with other countries that are within the West African um, sub-region. That was what happened when we set the date for 2015.